Hi all, welcome to the new video of Computer Fundamentals and HTML. In this video, we are going to discuss basics of web design. We are going to discuss the following terminologies www, w3c, browser, web server, web hosting, web page difference between static and dynamic web pages. DNS domain name system URL client side and server side scripting first topic www www stands for world wide web it's a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via internet it is an example for van WAN stands for Wide Area Network. World's most popular WAN is the Internet. That is called WWW, World Wide Web. Moving to next terminology, browser. It's an application software to read HTML tags. Or it's a software application for retrieving, presenting and passing over information resources on the world wide web. An information resource is identified by a uniform resource locator, URI and URL and maybe a web page, image, video or other piece of content. Examples for browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Opera, Apple Safari, etc. Now, Web Server. It's a computer that delivers information and resources to the other computers over the Internet. See the following figure we have a laptop mobile a desktop and a server is there servers is server is attached to the clients using internet server delivers information and resources to the clients these clients This is the purpose of web server. <coughs> now, what is web hosting? Web hosting is the process of uploading pages onto the domain. See this figure, you have a web host, domain name will be the, then you can upload your information onto the website. It simply refers to making your website live on the internet. A web host refers to an organization which gives memory space for the website files to be stored. They provide locations which help the clients to publish their website on the internet web page it is a hypertext web document that is commonly structured with html and styled with css that means a web page content is combination of html tags this tag can be read using web browser these are examples for html tags then uh, now we are discussing about web page may consisting textual, graphical, auditory and interactive content. Multiple web pages form a website that is a website is combination of web pages. A web page can be either static or dynamic. So we are going to discuss difference between static and dynamic websites. So the differences are. First, 
static website contain fixed number of pages dynamic website it can create website dynamically the theme of website and content of web page are fixed in static website web page design and content may change on runtime in dynamic website static sites never use database connectivity whereas dynamic sites deal with databases and generate the contents dynamically using database queries so these are the difference between static and dynamic web pages now dns dns stands for domain name system it's a collection of databases that translate host name into ip addresses here we have an example www.google.com its corresponding ip address is 216.58.217.46 so convert for converting this host name into ip address you can use dns now url url stands for uniform resource locator every web page picture video and web object has a unique url this is the common path name for url first part protocol part that is example http second part host name www third part domain name that is mydomain.com my domain in the case of www.google.com google is the domain name now .com is the it is the top level domain it can be .net .org .in .uk .us etc then file path is the for url now client and server side programming the main difference between client and uh, server programming is the client side scripting is used to write scripts that are executed in the client side or browser while the server side scripting is used to write scripts that are executed in the server side or the server here are some difference between client side scripting and server side scripting first one client side scripting a technique used in web development that involves using scripts that runs on the client's machine browser in server side scripting a technique used in web development that involves using scripts on the web server to produce a response that is customized for each client request to the website client side executed in the client side on the web browser in server side executed in the back end or the web server html css and javascript are used in client side scripting php python java ruby asp.net are used in user in server side scripting a small difference is there you can understand this point client side provides less security for the data server side provides more security for the data the last point you need to change so this is about basic technology in computer web designing thank you all